Hey everybody, how are you? It's Peter again for MLB Trade Rumors and Discussions. It is Tuesday, March 17th, 2020. Again, I'm going to try to keep this going every single day for the rest of the year. It's like I told you guys, but we're going to, we don't know when baseball is starting, but I told you we're going to speak every single day, even if it's for five minutes or 10 minutes, even three minutes, you know, I'm sorry if it's boring and I'm sorry, I don't have a lot of things to say anymore because we've spoke about this a million times, but I still, I'm still going to talk about every team every single day just for the fact that i do not want baseball to go i'm going to do my fantasy draft soon too so i'm very excited to do that and you know if you guys have any questions to me about fantasy let me know because i'm dying to do that and I actually somebody asked me about doing fantasy but you can hear me i didn't get the invitation so hopefully you can send it back <laughs> um anyway let's talk about today which is day five and talk about the fifth team who i wanted to speak about and that's the atlanta braves okay alphabetically the Atlanta Braves are a dangerous team, okay? They were a dangerous team last year. Well, let's talk about their best player, and usually Freddie Freeman would be that guy, but Acuna really is their best player. Acuna is a monster. This guy can bat third, but he can bat, he's pretty much a leadoff hitter. He got a great glad. The guy can play. He's fast, he's smart, and he's a freaking baby. And this guy, and I mean a baby in age, he can play. He is their franchise. Look for this guy to just get better and better, right? Which everybody knows. Freddie Freeman has always been a fantastic first baseman. The guy just has a great eye, and he will always just continue to be just the, their solid rock as a team. However, Freddie Freeman has had protection in the last few years, not for the best, right? He's had protection in Mark Hakus. That really, to me, isn't protection. I'm looking for protection not just of Acuna, because I like Acuna batting first. Albies is a great player second. Freeman is your third, but I'm looking for a guy who can come forth and just make them pitch to Freddie Freeman almost like Goldschmidt. Reminds me of Freddie Freeman back in the day where he didn't have that guy behind him that can like really rake and scare the hell out of somebody. And like, for example, when Goldschmidt was there and J.D. Martinez was behind him for that very short time, you just seen a different team, right? There was a reason why they made it to the NL championship. The fact of the matter is, is when you have a team like the Diamondbacks, who has a great player in Goldschmidt and the Braves who has a great player in Freeman, you need to protect these guys, correct? The Braves did a wonderful move, and I don't think they realized how they did by getting, excuse me, by getting um, Marcel Ozuna. Now, last year they had Josh Donaldson, and Donaldson protected them in the playoffs. They did extremely well. And there's no coincidence why they made the playoffs, right? When you have somebody to protect Freeman, it's great. However, to me, Marcelo Zuna in that ballpark is going to hit 40-something home runs. He is going to rake. Remember when he was had that year in Miami where he just destroyed? Look for Freddie, and excuse me, Marcelo Zuna to protect Freeman this year. So think about that. You get a cooner, whether he hits a home run or a double. Albies either moves him over or gets on base. Then you got Freeman. If you're like, oh, shit, I don't want to pitch to Freddie. Sure, welcome. Now you got a, um, Ozuna for a three-run homer, okay? If if you feel like you have a tough tough lefty on the mound and you want to go after Freeman, great. Freddie can hit. So you, you guys, they have the opportunity to have that lefty-righty big crazy matchup that they will. So that's tough on a pitcher. And that ballpark for Ozuna, it's going to kill he is going to get himself a three- to four-year extension. It was a great move by him for not signing the deal. He he bet on himself, and if he stays healthy, it's going to cash in, okay? It's hard to get 40-something home runs now because, obviously, there's no baseball. But if he played a full year, he would kill. Just wait till you see what he's going to do there. And on top of that, Dimex got rid of Dante, Dante Swanson after they drafted him. He's not living up to his potential, but he's not terrible. You know, I'll take a 270, 15 to 20 home runs from a shortstop any day if he's on the bottom of my order, okay? Camargo can play. They have a team now, and the move for Denard was a smart move also, right? To have a catcher, he's a veteran. He knows how to catch pitchers. And then you sign two veterans in Cole Hamels. I really don't care about Felix Hernandez, but you can always use the veteran leadership. But Cole Hamels still can play. So, you know, if Fulte can pitch back to the way he can, and you have Soraka and all these guys, you have a team. You have a team right now that the Braves are very scary, and that NL East is no joke. When you, the Mets can pitch, the Nationals are your champions. The Braves can play. You know, Philadelphia, Girardi's going to turn them around. 
That's four teams that are scary. And the Marlins, obviously, are not going to go anywhere, but they're not the worst team in the world. You know, they still got some players. But that's a four-headed monster right there. And really going to come down to when is baseball starting and who's going to stay healthy. Because teams got to get going. And, you know, at this point, it's not going to be, oh, you got a couple months to get going. If baseball is going to start in June or July, you got to you gotta get going right away. So I like the Braves. You know, I like what the Braves can do. I like the move for Ozuna. I think it was a wonderful move. And I tell you, that's not a team I want to play against, you know. One through seven is really going to be able to hit. And the first four guys are scary as hell. Albies is a really good ball player. so And the Braves signed him to a team-friendly contract this last year. So, that's, guys, I, I, I'm just trying to mention some teams, trying to get you guys going. And if you guys have, want to talk about fantasy baseball, let me know. Anyway, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow.